going on y'all this is Master Peace thank you for liking and subscribing to my videos I'm about to go in on the sports world once again yo the sports world is a continuation of slavery now we always say that you know we're still enslaved you know we, we still got the mental chains on and um, a big part of that is sports and you know what it's so apparent to, to see the brainwashing and, and the kind of like how deep it's embedded in us uh, because even though we know about this that we're supporting something that's not correct we still watch it and we still you know spend our time and our attention and, and, and our emotions on it you know every time that you go ah, or like ah that changes that alters your cells every cell in your body feels it when you get that feeling in your heart and your stomach and chest and up your back the tenseness that that affects your cells negatively it creates free, free radicals that acidifies and uh it just uh it, it putrefies in your lymph nodes and you just you know you're not thinking about it so you don't clear it away with good high grade water and and fresh air instead you're having a beer and um and that's just adding to the waste now quickly to quickly to wrap this up um the, when when these CEOs and these executives are uh you know they have millions and billions of dollars and the industry is worth trillions of dollars um worldwide you see that the 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 players are like the the the, the crop the produce and the farm that they get it from is usually the the inner cities and the ghettos but usually when you when you when you pr uh, purchase from farms the community that farms it usually sees a benefit or some sort of return or gain you know it goes to back to the community but when they crop our players uh, they brainwash them so that they don't give back to their communities and also um, they make them agree to certain laws and statutes and regulatory this and that uh, to make sure that their money is going uh, not back to the hood and, and make sure that the money is going back into the <clears throat> white man's pockets. So we got to remember that these NBA players, these guys are products, okay? And we can't necessarily blame them, but we can not support the industry. And, you know, it's just like it's just like the slave trade because they're working their ass off. They see very little of it, and they're very limited in what they can do and how they can move. And then also, if they're, if they're not performing well, they get to go over, they, they get shipped overseas, usually for a lower pay. Okay, so it's a, it's a whole network that's going on. I just wanted to touch on that and let you guys know that if you guys are still watching sports, then you guys are part of the problem, okay? The, the, the adverts, the demand, the, the ratings, all that is uh, being contributed by you. So in order to stop the modern day slavery that is sports, we got to stop participating and watching it and, and stop giving our emotional... Um, Vit vitality to it and stop stressing ourselves out so that these multi-millionaires can keep on doing their thing. Alright yo, it's masterpiece. Free your mind and eat to live. Alright, peace.